Hello, my name is Jorge Pedret. Perhaps you know me from before. Perhaps this is the first time you are meeting me. And I'm here to share a message about the nomadic ways of that are naturally emerging in our culture. And the culture that I'm talking about is the culture that is a different culture than the culture where we were raised. A different culture that is not the typical modern culture. It's a culture that is recreating from the ground up, recreating from zero. All of, all of the aspects of, of our being and of our being in this world, from how we raise our children, to how we consider education, to how do we work together, to what do we value, what things are of value for us. And this culture is coming up to have many different names. Uh, some people, some, some groups are calling it next, next culture, new culture, and all, all different kinds of names. And what it brings them together is that we are an emerging culture that is based on different values than the values of, of the previous culture where we were raised. And the values that are common for this culture that is emerging naturally are values that make sense to us, are values that connect connects us together, their values of respect, love, kindness, acceptance, discovery, exploration, and all throughout the world, there is people that are connecting through this message and stepping away from the culture where they came from and not choosing to participate in it, doing something radically different than what most people are doing. And from this culture, um, is emerging a need for people and for our groups and for our village and our ways of working together to be mobile, to be moving from one point to another, depending on the needs of the space, depending on the necessities of the group and of the needs of the space. This culture, as the way that I, I've been working with it, is called, I'm calling it next culture. I'm also calling it archiarchy. And this was a term that is used by the group of possibility management, who are a group that is also collaborating into the creation of this culture. We are the creative culture, the cultural creatives, and we have a lot in common. We know that there is a piece that each one of us has to feel in, inside of what is happening and what we are creating. That from our context and our value of respect, which is treating each other as equals and not as something more or less, that we see that each one of us, each one of these parts has a, a play in the culture that we are creating and that we want to consider and work with all of these pieces. There is a huge challenge ahead of us. And there is a huge challenge inside of myself to continue speaking the truth and to continue sharing from my heart. And that is the fear of being killed that is the fear of being uh, shut down. 
that is, is the there is fears there from what has been happening for thousands of years in this planet in life on earth and i am here not to destroy anything or change the old ways or change a system of belief uh i don't i don't stand for for that for that destruction i'm not opposing anything but i am creating next culture i am creating the next culture that is the platform for us for our people to join and connect in a way that it makes sense and when i say that it makes sense i mean that is not rational in a way that is not just from our thoughts and from our ideas i mean and that is a way that it makes sense to all of our different bodies that it makes sense to our intellectual body our physical body our emotional body and our energetic body and the challenges that we are facing they are collective we've seen them they are there and i feel joy to be sharing this message here with you not as a machine that is repeating an old message but as being that message that is new the message that is discovering itself the message that is at the edge of the culture that is at the edge of creation where nobody has stepped before each one of us that is collaborating into this culture into the, a regenerative culture that makes sense to mother earth and that makes sense to our life form and all their life forms we are the cultural creatives and there is many of us and we connect through our group mind together we create the ideas and we bring them to life this is different there is a difference in this culture of how we create something from a perspective of a slave uh, or a master and a slave that creates a hierarchy and creating as a group intelligence the group intelligence is flexible is mobile is strong is fast and is not better or worse is different and is the alternative to operating from a different point of view not from a point of view of a hierarchy where there is one person at the top dictating and saying what's going to happen to the people at the bottom but there is a, a circular a circular formation of our group and our people and the point for me is to create something new to create what we want and to retrieve my energy from wanting to fight an old system and wanting to take down an old system 
or wanting to change the patriarchal system is not about that. It's about creating what we want, creating that thing that we want to, to be in. And this is the culture that is naturally emerging all around us. There are land-based villages or land-based villaging and nomadic villaging. There is groups that feel attuned to moving around with the cycles of the earth and, and with the rhythms of life. For example, the sun, the cycles of the moon, the cycles of the seasons, the yearly cycles in migration routes. And there is other groups that feel and that are more attuned with land-based options, having a land to stay, having a land to be, and to operate from there. And in this next culture, we have that capability of being both according to the necessities. We can move from one side to another. We can be mobile when we want to be mobile, when we have the necessity to be mobile, and we can be stationary. We can be land-based when we have the necessity for being land-based, for grounding, for restoring, for growing, for resting, for connection, for deepening our connections. And that these two paths, they're not opposing each other. They are complementing each other and they create a truly amazing and holistic way of living with the earth. So thank you for hearing me. And I'm looking forward to sharing more of this message. Thank you.